Hey everyone, it's Peter with the Garden Family. Today we're going to talk about our method for growing beautiful lettuce here in Southwest Ohio, Zone 6A. Anyone who's tried to grow lettuce in the Midwest knows there's really just two seasons, cold and hot. The transitions in spring and fall generally don't last very long and part of the issue with growing lettuce is you need a prolonged cool period of weather. But here are our four steps to growing great lettuce in the Midwest. Step number one, appropriate site selection. Step number two, start your seeds early indoors. Step number three, plant early outside under cover. And step number four is water regularly whenever you have a heat spell. Let's talk a little bit about each step in more detail. So step one was appropriate site selection. Every garden has microclimates within it and those are dictated by where the first sun hits, and which parts are shaded throughout the day. Lettuce does need sun to grow appropriately, but it can tolerate some partial shade. And we especially like to have afternoon shade so it's not getting sun in the really hot parts of the day. As you can see from this aerial, our lettuce bed is over on the western side of our garden and there's a maple tree just to the west of it. And that means it's going to get sun in the morning and through part of the midday. But in that later part of the day, the maple tree shades our lettuce bed. So step two is starting your seeds early. Lettuce is the first thing that we start indoors, with the exception of maybe parsley. And we start it in mid-February. And generally the plants are relatively large by the beginning of April. Assuming the ground is not frozen in April, we get them in the ground right around April 1st and that gives us time to start harvesting right around the 1st of May and generally we can harvest through May and June before it gets too hot in July and lettuce can't tolerate that heat. Starting early is especially important if you live in a climate really Midwest, Northeastern type climates where it's relatively cold in the winter and it's pretty hot in the summer. So you don't really have that long cool weather window. Obviously if you live in California or the Pacific Northwest, this doesn't really apply to you. So step three was growing lettuces under covers. This really made a really big difference for us. We use this fleece row cover. It's not actually made of fleece but it's a light duty row cover. It does provide some sun protection and it will provide a little bit of freezing protection in those early times. And then in late June, when we're still harvesting our lettuce, it does keep that microclimate under the fleece slightly cooler. We definitely couldn't grow the lettuce you see here without a row cover like this. And step four was just keeping them hydrated. Remember that this lettuce is going to bolt if it gets too stressed and that stress can come from heat or from lack of water. So when it's hot you're definitely going to need a water. We water every day when the weather is above 80 degrees and it hasn't rained. I should also note that the fleece row cover does reduce the amount of rainfall that the plants get. So you can't always rely on just rain to keep your plants hydrated wasn't in our steps, but one thing that you should know as well is that since you're actually eating the leaves of the plant, lettuce does like a high nitrogen soil. So if you're lacking in some nutrients, you may need to fertilize. Hope those tips were helpful. Hill's gonna come harvest some lettuce. Happy gardening, everyone. Mm -hmm.